Hello, this is Chad Smith with BC Gurus, and this is going to be part four of our social media journey. We're going to take a look at the RSS function Business Catalyst. So within the admin section of my Business Catalyst site, you can go to the module tab, click on the blogs, and we can see that I have three different blogs created under this website. So if we close our module tab and go to our site settings, we can look at the RSS channels. And as you can see, we have three identical channels matching with our blogs. So if I go back to my blog section, add a blog, we will call this one college basketball. Sounds good to me. More options. I'm just going to leave all this blank now. I just want to add a new blog. So we'll save that. And now that our item has been successfully saved, if we go back under Site Settings and RSS Channels, you can see our NCA Basketball blog has already got a, an RSS channel feed. Now, ideally, to get this onto a web page, well, not really ideally, but one of the ways to get this on a web page would be to, under the RSS Channels, click on one that already has a blog post on it. So we'll look at our Olympic blog. It has taken the description from the blog, so thoughts and comments on the London Games. We can update the frequency to update how often you like, and if it's enabled or disabled. Now, you should be able to click on Action and add the RSS channel to a web page, but for some reason, it keeps reloading the page, and it's not actually giving me the option to add it to a page. Or if you want to get the RSS HTML code, it's also not letting me do that. So another way to add it to a page is to actually go to the page. So I'm going to add a new page. We'll call this my RSS channel page. Add a module to the page. And from here we can grab the RSS tab and display a link for a specific RSS channel. Go choose my Olympic one. It's going to give you the icon and everything so if somebody can click and add it that subscription to their RSS reader. If you look at the HTML view, this is the pretty much the link we're going to need to set up our RSS channel. So if you wanted to use a different image, you just change this image or using CSS. When you click on the get HTML or get RSS code, you're pretty much just given the link here without all the image and everything else. So now though the blog will create a new RSS channel when created, if you wanted to create a web app that acted like a blog or was going to be updated regularly and you wanted to have your users subscribe to that RSS channel, we can create a new one and then add it to the default RSS channel for our blog. So within the back end of our site, if we go to site settings, RSS channel, and you can see I've created one called Events. We can go to our web apps, we'll add a new web app. We'll call it Events. Hit Save. The ones that saved will get these links here. We can go More Action and set Assign Default RSS Channel. And from there, we can take the events and switch it over. And now we can put that RSS channel on the page and folks can subscribe to our event web app. Now one of the last things we can do with our RSS channel is we can assign other items than just web page or web apps or blogs to be a part of this channel. So if we go back to the back end of our example site, site settings, RSS channels, if our event web app was also a part of say a web page we can display our home page as part of that RSS channel. But we can also do literature items, announcements, and all these other items here. If you just wanted a few blog posts, say we don't want the whole Jeep blog on this channel, but we do like this post, we can drag that over. And now that is part of my event RSS feed.